Last week, we picked volume as our number one indie game for August. Today, we dedicate this video to it, take a closer look, and explain why we rate it so high. Let's begin with the presentation. Volume is a very stylish game. From the polygon shards that assemble at every level start, to the stunning blare every time a pawn closes in on you, this game simply has swag. Even your movements, like sliding up against the wall or your crouched run, are smooth and perfectly weighted. The shuffling of your feet makes a delicate scratching noise, increasing tension with every step. The colours are always new and vivid, without being overbearing, and the lines and shapes pleasingly minimalist. With its isometric frame, volume doesn't hide anything. What you see is what you get. This can definitely backfire, but seeing its art and presentation in full, you're not left wanting, but instead very impressed. At its core, volume is a game of patterns. Yeah, it's definitely about stealth and going undetected, but going unseen depends on recognising the patterns and solving them. The basic aim is to avoid the pawns and their line of sight and collect the gems to open up the exit. At times, the pawns will be stationary, and at other times they'll be on patrol. What this results in is a pattern. Memorising them and working them out is the path to success. But volume isn't content just to have patterns. It wants to play with them. It does this by disrupting them with sound. Whether it is sound plates on the ground, or the rather novel flushing of conveniently placed toilets, noises are created to distract the pawns. They'll leave their position or patrol. This changes the setup of the level, and gives you a brief window to exploit it. New devices are added, like the bugle that allows you to shoot sound into a particular area, and create new ways for you to disrupt the patterns. Other mechanics include closets to hide in, and temporary invisibility. This style has been compared to Metal Gear Solid, and rightfully so. With its patterns and stealth, volume makes you feel clever for overcoming its obstacles. I think we'd be remiss to leave volume without first paying a little homage to its narrative. The game starts out with a long, but playfully amusing conversation between AI Unit Allen and protagonist Ben Loxley, the latter of which is voiced by YouTuber Charlie McDonald, who is certainly not bad in the role, but perhaps out of his depth. It appears that Loxley is being taken through a training exercise by Allen, a la Portal. However, things take a sharp turn. It turns out Loxley is playing Allen. All the simulations being run are of actual archives of Gisborne Industries. Loxley is live streaming it and effectively demonstrating to the people of England how to do the same in real life. The motivation for this is to let the people take back what is theirs, a la Robin Hood. We don't want to go too much further and spoil anything, but we will say that like the game's many colours, nothing is black and white. Plus, the one and only Andy Serkis provides the vocals for Gisborne. Well guys, that was volume. Thanks for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indie Former.